Welcome to Stage Directions TV. I'm Jacob Coakley, editor of Stage Directions Magazine. We recently went to the NAMM show in Anaheim and got a private demo of the PreSonus Studio Live system, including their Studio Live mixer, virtual Studio Live program, and their brand new SL remote app for the iPad. It all combines live audio mixing with digital perks in a very cool way, and we're very excited to share with you today. In this part, we'll be listening to Wesley Smith, product planner at Personas, as she walks us through the features of the Personas Studio Live 16 digital mixer, including its fat channel section, designed to keep you on the surface of the board and not buried in menus. Then she'll talk a little bit about how you can work with Virtual Studio Live, which gives you bi-directional remote control over the studio via Mac or Windows PC. Ready? And go for it. Okay, so the Studio Live Mixer is, um, was designed to um, have the, um, all the ease of use and intuitiveness uh, of an analog mixer, but all the power of a digital console. So anyone who's used an analog mixer can walk right up to it, learn two things, which is the select button and mix mode, and you're pretty much ready to rock. Um, the um, heart of the Studio Live is this fat channel setting a section. Um, this is where you live on the studio lab. You don't live in menus or anything like that. So um, from the fat channel, you can dial in uh, dynamics for every um, every channel and bus pretty much. Wherever you see a select button flashing right now, you have gate, compressor, limiter, and a semi-parametric for band EQ. On all the channels and the auxes and the effects, you also have a high-pass filter. Um, the fat channel is also acts as a meter bridge. You have input metering, output metering, gain reduction metering, um, the output level of all of your auxes, and you also use this uh, to locate your faders uh, when you recall a scene or um, if you're using uh, VSL, which we'll get into a little bit. And, uh, Do that again, that's fascinating. Taking it down and then pulling it back up to the level. That's great. That's fun. So, it's fairly quick and easy to dial in. You recall your faders, so it doesn't take but a second. Um, this is also where you do all your aux mixes. You go into mix mode, and now these encoders and meters are setting the send level for each channel to that aux. If you have, um, the auxes are mono, um, but if you are stereo linking them, so now you have a stereo aux, anywhere you see a mix button, this is still your send level for each channel, and, but mix pan then lets you set the pan uh, level, uh, pan setting for uh, each channel to the stereo aux. Um, built into the Studio Live is um, our two 32-bit uh, uh, floating point uh, DSP processors uh, with reverbs and delays. There's not a lot of crazy effects, it's just the kind of meat and potatoes effects that you need. You do want to plug in an external effects unit. Uh, we do have aux returns, uh, so you don't need to uh, eat up a channel on your boards to uh, plug in an external effects. Um, there's an independent solo bus with AFL, PFL um, um, settings as well as solo in place if you need to do destructive soloing. Uh, there is a safety latch on this, so you have to press and hold, so you can't accidentally engage that and uh, shut down your show. Uh, of course, you have your uh, tape inputs. Your um, uh, your monitor amp is actually a summing amp. So if you need, if you have some things soloed, and you need to hear them over the mix, you can actually set up your own custom mix between solo channels and mains and your monitors. Of course, we have a talkback section. Um, the menu, again, you don't live in menus on the studio live, uh, so you have your effects menu. Um, I'd let you, uh, of course, dial in your effects, adjust the parameters, uh, patch the um, internal effects to the auxes if you want some reverb in uh, your aux mixes, and set the pre position uh, for your sends. Um, the pre there's two pre positions. Um, you can either send um, post gate or post fat channel, depending on how you're monitoring on stage. Um, your system menu is quite literally LCD contrast. This is where you set your pre and post position. Um, if you're connected to a computer, this is how you uh, can see if you're connected properly. Um, by default, the uh, gate is actually a downward expander, but you can turn it into a true gate if you prefer. Um, you can lock the board out so no one can come and uh, mess up your mix. And, uh, and um, uh, we have 31 band graphic EQ on the mains, also in the system menu, and you have a firmware version. That's pretty much it. So you can see that most of what you do on the board is really uh, living right on the surface and you don't have to dive too deeply. 
Um, there's 16 uh, mic inputs, 16 line level inputs, 16 inserts, 16 direct outputs. Um, all the um, outputs, all the aux outputs and subject outputs are balanced TRS. The mains actually have a stereo TRS as well as a stereo XLR and mono XLR. And um, the mono output and the stereo output have independent trim adjustments. Um, but all the outputs are active all the time, so you can actually connect five speakers and control them all with your main uh, fader. Uh, paired with Studio Live is Virtual Studio Live. Uh, this is a control application that allows you to um, recall scenes. Um, it's, it's hard, it's an editor librarian, um, but it allows you to quickly recall scenes with um, our drag and drop implementation, the same type that we use in Studio One, our DAW. Um, you can load in um, fat channel presets, either um, as a channel strip or just the individual components. Um, of course, you can drag and drop in your effects, any GEQ presets. We also allow you to create an uh, entire backup of your board. So if you finish a, um, a project and you don't need those scenes anymore and you don't want to save them all individually, you can just take a, a snapshot of your board in its current uh, state. And then if you ever need to revert the board, uh, you simply load in that backup file. It's very quick and easy. Uh, the upbeat tab, there's a channel zoom tab that allows you to make more uh, fine-tuned adjustments to your uh, fat channel settings, and then we have our setup tab. Um, the um, built into the Studio Live is a, a continuously bi-directional firewire interface that allows you to record 32 channels and output 18. Uh, the first 16 uh, inputs are hardwired to your channels. The second 16, as you can see on the screen, are accessible, uh, they're called uh, auxiliary inputs, and you can record a variety of buses. You can record your mains, your subs, any of your aux mixes, um, your aux returns, your tape input, um, the send and return to the effects, your uh, top back mic, and uh, your solo bus. So you can make a variety of creative recordings uh, from the studio. The other nice thing about the um, continuously uh, bi-directional architecture is that these firewire terms, these are your firewire outputs from the computer, the playback channels, um, because it's constantly sending information to the computer and receiving information back from the computer. You can use these firewire returns to um, insert um, effects plugins. So if you have a Waves bundle that you want to use live or any other um, type of plugins or plugins for Studio One, uh, you can use these to return them to the board. Uh, but you're still, you can still record the um, analog information, uh, which makes it really powerful.